Morning guys, morning, morning, morning. Happy Monday morning. This is probably going out on Monday morning. Um, got my coffee. We just did a toll. If we don't need that much caffeine, and we're gonna get on the treadmill when we get home. But, a little treat because we got up and are getting stuff done today. So, we had to do an impromptu Walmart trip, which you guys are going to join me for. Bring you up a little bit there, see if it'll stay. Mm, probably not. Okay, I'll just sink down a little. And so, we had to come to Walmart impromptu this morning because I ran out of butter and LaCroix at the same time. Who does that? I don't know who does that. Apparently, I do that. <laughs> but, so yeah, we had to come to Walmart, and I figured we would take a look at the book section and see what they have here lately. It's been a while since I took a look at what their book section looks like and what they're advertising and selling, because usually they're selling a lot of best sellers and things like that. Walmart's only going to carry the books they know are going to sell. So, let's go take a look and see what I've read, what I haven't read, what I want to read. And I also will probably give you guys a food journal update in this video. So, good morning and come along with me. Completely off topic, but I found the Dave's Bagels and the Dave's Killer English Muffins. So, I'm really, really excited about that because I've been looking for these and I had not seen them. We also have Dave's Killer Raisin Bread with 8 grams of protein. So not a huge selection, but like I told you, I knew they would have like all the best sellers. I've read this one, Fortune and Glory by Janet Ivanovich. I'm not going to tip that book over. That one was really, really good. Um, you guys know I loved that. This one I've also read, One by One, Ruth Ware. You can get a... Um, review of that one also on this channel mystery funny whodunit I'm not sure what else this the four winds by Kristen Hanna I have been saying I want to read forever I think it might be on my Kindle I think I bought it I need to check but um it's about the dust bowl and it is a Kristen Hanna, which means it'll be devastating, because she writes a lot of sad ones. And then this is J.R. Ward's Lover Unveiled. Is this a new Black Dagger Brotherhood? I gotta check. So the problem with the Black Dagger Brotherhood is there's so many that are starting to run together. But I don't think I have read Savage's book yet, so this needs to be read ASAP. ASAP. You guys will get a Lover Unveiled review. Your girl did good. I stuck to exactly what I said I was coming in here for. So that's great. Okay, guys. So in and out of Walmart pretty quickly. Got exactly what we went in for. That never happened. Not one extra thing ended up in my bag, you guys. That is, like, epic for me. Because I always end up getting stuff that I did not go in there for. But I'm really excited that I stick to my budget. I did not buy um, that Black Dagger Brotherhood book because I'm going to get it on my Kindle. It'll be a lot cheaper. It was $20 in there. It should be like 11 to 13 on my Kindle. So we're going to go ahead and get it on the Kindle and I'll get you guys a review ASAP. I love the Black Dagger Brotherhood. It's one of my favorite series. My issue is, like I was telling you in there, sometimes there's so many of them. There's like 25 books. I forget which ones I've read. <laughs> but I don't think I've read Savages. I think it just came out, so I'm excited. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Happy Monday again. And until next time. Morning, you guys. Morning, morning, morning. So I wanted to dive into my fitness planner today because we're starting a fresh week. Happy Monday morning. 
Um, I know I have talked a lot about my fitness journey, um, my weight loss journey on the show a little bit. Probably not a lot. I haven't talked about it, but I've talked a good bit about it. Um, 2020 was not a good year for anybody, and I definitely put on some weight, so we're trying to take it off now. Um, and one key thing that I has been working really well for me, and I haven't really talked about on the show, is um, something my endocrinologist advised, and that is called intermittent fasting. So I do not eat my first meal, even though I get up at six or seven in the morning, until between 10 and 11 in the morning. Um, a lot of people will go to 12 without eating. I feel that my blood sugar does start to drop going until noon. So I'll typically eat between 10 and 12. And um, keeping it as low carb as I possibly can while still getting some good carbs in there. So that is kind of what I have been doing. I've been fairly successful. As you guys know, I have lost about 25 pounds. We're trying to keep that number moving, though. Um, so we'll go through what I eat in a day. Um, a lot of chicken breast. Try to break that fast with no carbs as much as possible. I do do an acai bowl, as you can see there on Thursday and Friday. Eggs are a huge one that I do a lot to break my fast in chicken breast. And then I'll have like a sometime between that fast breaking meal and um, dinner type of snack. I try to keep it light, just something to keep my metabolism up and um, get that third meal in there. So I sometimes will do like lunch meat and cheese wrapped up together as you see there lots of olives i have stuffed green olives that i love um garlic in them jalapeno in them blue cheese feta whatever you can put in an olive i will eat it um low carb tortilla and cheese so i just take like some shredded cheese whatever i have in there and i take one of those carb balanced tortillas and i microwave it for a couple of seconds makes it like a little cheese quesadilla that's really quick and really easy for me to just grab on a 15 minute break or something sushi um that is my treat there i love a sushi roll and whenever i do my shopping which it's the first in the month so i'll be shopping that morning before i go into work um i'll pick myself up a sushi roll just as like a treat and then rice and veggies i really am liking um basmati rice right now um i do do like a half a cup i try to keep it limited and then mostly veggies but it is good and even talking to my doctors to have some carbohydrate like your body needs that you will feel terrible and low energy if you go strictly strictly keto which I have done before and lost a ton of weight but as soon as I started eating like a regular human being again I gained it all back so keto does not work for me it works in that I will lose the weight but it does not work consistently for me in that the weight will come back on really really quickly and then just some healthy dinner choices we've got chicken cordon blues we've got some burgers i might go bunless or maybe a whole grain bun there ribs and um veggie mac and cheese my dad made on father's day some outstanding smoked mac and cheese and sent me home with some that i put in the freezer and yeah, that's really good. Chicken cordon blue again there on Thursday. We buy a big case of them from Sam's Club. And so generally when we eat them, we eat them twice in a week, which Sophia is not here right now. Obviously, I'm going to pick her up this weekend. You'll see here in Florida. And um, she is not keen on eating the same thing multiple times a week. But my husband and I were fine with it. Like we have no qualms about eating the same thing twice in one week. Um, and then a chicken lasagna. As you can see, a lot less red meat. I have worked really hard with my husband. He's been the one that's been the hardest to break from red meat. Um, we still do eat it. Obviously, we've got burgers in there. But boy, have we cut back on our red meat. You don't even see steak in there. We were eating steak at least once a week. Now, we may pick some up for a treat while we're in Florida, those two days there. But yeah, we're not huge steak eaters um, anymore. We love it, but it's not good for us. So yeah, and then you can see my focus there is getting more time on the treadmill. I think that's always my focus because I get on as much as I can on my treadmill, but 
life gets in the way and I don't get as much minutes as I would like to on there. So yeah, that is exactly what is going for my week in my fitness planner. And then you've got a grocery haul coming up that you guys are going to see. So there you go. And then I just wanted to show you that I did add some little stickers to it um, and just brightened it up a little bit there. I will go through as my day goes on. This is my food log, so I write down everything that I do actually eat um, and compare and contrast it to what I was supposed to eat. And if I had any weak moments or anything like that, that helps me to be like, okay, where did I go wrong here? But yeah, that is pretty much how I've been doing my weight loss using my new journal that I got a few weeks ago now. Um, but I absolutely love it and I've found that it's been very, very helpful for me and I've been really successful using it. Um, and so I'm excited for you guys to see that.